Thank goodness for that. Well, odds are these days, if you're behaving badly, someone somewhere might be recording it. And now a Manitoba community is asking if installing cameras might help prevent hockey fights from spiraling out of control. But as Lorraine McNabb reports, it might take more than embarrassing videos to cool tempers. This is not a video for the highlight reel. Going back to the old days, people had a camera to capture their son's first goal. Now you're capturing, you're looking for <laughs> controversy. Almost two months after this brawl happened at a Manitoba Aboriginal hockey tournament, the group that organized the game says suspensions for a 12-year-old and his coach are coming. But what it really wants to put on record is leaders everywhere need to think outside the penalty box when it comes to putting bad behavior on ice. The values we hold here are zero tolerance. Permanent cameras aimed at the game and those in the stands, just one suggestion to deterring violence. If you don't think it's bad, know that others who see it will. Those caught on camera may see their face on the evening news. Look at the oh. It was just last week another Manitoba team was captured firing a puck at a referee who later ended up at the bottom of this pile. Things happen, right? Uh, but not like that. You've never heard of anything like this before? Not, not like that, no. And in a completely separate incident, a Winnipeg mom and dad were banned from watching their son play hockey for three years after they barged into a locker room and a fight broke out in front of eight-year-olds. We forgot the simple days of playing in the creeks and the ponds, the frozen ponds in the creeks when nobody kept score. And But they are now, and the overwhelming consensus to almost any story of a hockey brawl is those in it are the real losers, described on Facebook as disgusting, disgraceful, as idiots. But Hockey Manitoba doesn't think cameras in rinks would necessarily stop them. It's a small group, and it's unfortunate that small group uh, taints the rest of the people that participate and enjoy the game. In some cases, still cheer at that part of the game. This bench-clearing brawl between New York's finest, its firefighters and police, happened at an event for charity. The entire thing captured on various cameras with no apology. Lorraine McNabb, Global News, Winnipeg.